Hello there, and welcome to another tier list video. Today, we are talking about Gen Generation 2 Pokemon. Some would say the best generation. Would that be me? Nah, I don't know if it's the best, but this is the first generation I played, so it has a soft spot in my heart. Joining me, as always, the Sith Holocron, Naomi. Gen 3 is my soft spot. Whoa. Because that's when I started playing. I'm old. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. But so am I, to be fair. True. In terms of internet age, I'm ancient. Oh, hell yeah. If you're over the age of 21 online, you might as well have an AARP discount. I'll take it. Yeah, shit. Fuck yeah. And it is I, the Jedi Hawker and Tyler. You saw our Gen 1 video. We are back for Gen 2. Are you ready, Naomi? Yee. <clears throat> Who's your favorite Gen 2 Pokemon? I don't know. We're about to find out. <laughs> yeah, we're going to find out. So, first off, we got S Cyndaquil? No. Chikorita? Chikorita. I don't know why I got said Cyndaquil. Uh, I forgot. The Cyndaquil is like your favorite starter. I know. How did you mess that up? Because Cyndaquil on the mind, yo. I'm going to I'm gonna hold that against you for the rest of your life. I do like Chikorita's first design a lot. I think it's the best. I mean, yeah, just like how we did, you can go and watch our uh, Starter starters tier list. Tier yeah. list or our Mega Evolution tier list, because for some reason, this Gen 2 tier list, there's Megas. But Gen Megas didn't exist here old Gen 5, right? Uh, Gen 6. Gen 6. So, like, why the fuck are they here? As I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in our um, starter tier list, it was very common for grass starters to just go on a descending scheme. Yeah, and as always, that's how it's going to start here. I put Chikorita hmm A tier I like Chikorita a lot and also with, yes the starters are on here and they are also on our starter tier list but this is a different list this is comparing them to different things yeah so if they're in different tiers it's because the comparison is different and also starter Pokemon it's like it's a higher bar too like higher expectations yeah. I just like putting out the disclaimer oh yes I don't see I think we're already going to get wild off the start I I don't like that color yellow. I kind of like it. I was going to say B for Bayleaf. Oh, I was going to say D. <laughs> so C it is. And then D, Meganium. D tier? Yeah. I don't like Meganium. I like it about the same as... It can go in C. Nah, D's fine. I'm not particularly passionate. I don't hate Meganium. Yeah. Yeah, D tier's fine. Cyndaquil, Quilava, and Typhlosion. The exact same... No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I know. No B tier. Typhlosion and Cyndaquil top tier starters. Middle one's just fine. Middle one's okay. Yeah. <clears throat> ah, my throat. I'm all scratchy today. Yeah. For alligator. Crocodile. It's a uh, Totodile, Crocknaw, and Fralligator. I feel like if I remember correctly, I actually kind of like like this line. I actually really like the first and third forms. The second form is okay. I would say put them all in B tier. Can I fight for Fralligator A? Yeah, that's fine. Because I, I really fuck with Fralligator. I can get behind that. <clears throat> Centret and Furret. Ferret. Furret? Furret, Ferret. Who knows? <laughs> I like Ferret. It's one of the cuter looking HM slaves. Yeah. I can be B tier. Yeah. And then that can, other one's just C. It's fine. Yeah. Hootoot and. Hoot -hoot. Noctowl is pretty sick. That's just. Is he, though? Noctowl would have been way better, though, if it was flying psychic. Because Noctowl learns a lot of psychic moves. Mm. But it's normal flying. But I also just like owls. Yeah, I like... I think I like Hoot Hoot better than Noctowl. Oh, I'm hard disagree there. I like how Noctowl in... Um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, its animation when it came out of the Pokeball, it would look back at you because mm. it can turn its head around like an owl. We can do BC. Yeah. B. B being the one you like more. Yeah. Uh, C. I was for... just making sure. 
Honestly, fuck both of these D tier. I'm okay. I don't have strong feelings. They're just ladybugs. Either. Like ladybugs are fine, but like I think both of them are very mediocre. Yeah. Speaking of mediocre Pokemon, Spinarak and Ariados. <clears throat> uh, I don't. Yeah, these are fine. Like. Yeah, I don't really fuck with them. Honestly, D tier the first one, and C tier the next one. Crobat. Crobat is fucking sick. I think the best thing Crobat does is fixes possibly the ugliest two Pokemon in all of Pokemon. With Zubat to Crobat. Yeah. I mean Zubat to Golbat. Golbat. And this one fixes it. And for that alone, we can give it A tier. Hell yeah. I love Crobat. Uh, Chimchow and Lantern. Uh, these are fine. I enjoy them. I like good water electric type. Yeah, it's a really cool typing. I say... And I think they're pretty cute. First form C, second form B. Yeah. Pichu. Lil Pichu. Pichu's cute. Beats Pichu. Beats here. Pichu is very cute. Uh, fuck, what's the first one? Uh, Cleffa. Cleffa and I think, um... Eagley? Something like that. Iggly buff, I think? It, yeah, Iggly buff, I think. I think the first one's cuter. Yeah. But I don't really love either of them. It also has the disadvantage of I don't really think Clefairy and Clefable are all that great. Yeah. Which is funny, because they were the original mascot. <laughs> uh, honestly, let's put them both in D tier. Yeah. Now, this may be surprise you. No, Togepi. I think Togepi is S here. Yeah. Togepi is adorable. I love the design. I'm literally wearing Togepi socks right now. And I love... We'll we'll talk about it when we get to Gen 4, but I love it to Gen 4 evolution. Togekiss? Yeah. Yeah, Togekiss is... Togekiss is rad. Amazing. Togetic, on the other hand, not bad, but it's very subpart of the other two forms. Yeah. I think it belongs in B tier. But yeah, fucking I B love for Togepi. beta. Yeah. Uh, one of them Zaku or something, and the other one's Natu. Yeah, I think either way. Honestly, <clears throat> fuck it, E's here. Yeah, I don't really. Uh, these things are ugly. I don't really care about them. Yeah. Now this is interesting. <laughs> Ampharos, favorite electric Pokemon of all time. No cap. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's up there for me. Ampharos is for sure S tier. No oh, yeah. cap. I no. love Ampharos. No cap. Mareep <clears throat> is better than Flaffy. Yes. I say Mareep A, Flaffy B. Yep. I agree. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow. Got the COVID over here. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong. I'm all like scratched up today. Mm. I've been coughing a lot. Got yeah, that blossom. Yeah. I actually kind of like blossom. Yeah, I like blossom. I would say. A tier. Yeah. Mariel and Azu Mario. Meryl, the first one, is the only confirmed uh, Pokemon that can be trans. Yeah. Because the first form has a 75% female chance and a 25% male chance, where the second form has a 50-50 split. So 25% of the females will turn into men. Mm. It's, a, it's a little bit of a trans staple. I don't know if you know this about me. Huge Muriel fan. Yeah? Yeah, I've always loved Muriel. Hell yeah. I've never actually used one. Me neither. <laughs> but I've always liked them. I think Muriel's cuter than Azu Muriel, so I go yes. A B. Yeah, I, I I like just just for the trans cred, and also being cute as fuck. Yeah, but that goes hand in hand with trans. Um, Sudowoodo F tier. I spent years trying to figure out how to get past you and Crystal. I couldn't figure it out as a child. You fucking water, fucking what do you need? The fucking magic water. Fuck, fuck you, Sudowoodo. Why can't I just cut you? We've established in many videos that 
you are not of a very high intelligence. Of course not. And definitely were even stupider as a child. Absolutely. So just the idea that you as, like, this ten-year-old kid is sitting there just screaming at your Game Boy Color because you can't move this pseudo-wudo is the funniest thing. I knew Jay would get to the third gym and then I just couldn't play anymore. <laughs> That's so funny. Polytoad. B. It's cute. Yeah, it exists. Yeah. Uh... Fuck. Hopip Jumpluff? Or no, this one's Jumpluff. Skip Loom? No, Skip Skip Hop Jump. Yes, yeah, Skip Loom, Hop Lop Jump Loom. So in other words, also known as C E D. In that order? Yeah. <laughs> C E D. I hate the middle form. The middle form's ugly. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah. A-palm. A-palm. I like A-palm. I don't know if it's B-tier, but... C-tier? Mm, yeah, I'd say C. A-palms. I like A-palm and Detective Pikachu. <laughs> Live-action A-palm. Sunkern and Sunflora? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, I say D-tier for the seed one. It's whatever. It exists. I'm not, this may be, like, this may be a theme, but, like, early forms of, like, grass and bug Pokemon, I just do not fuck with. (laughs) This one's, I like the Sunflower, though. Sunflower can be B tier. Yama, Yanma, Yama? Yama, Yanma, 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 I don't know how to pronounce, wait, is that Yan? is that Yama? Or is that a different Pokemon? Yanma, I think it's Yanma, or Yanma. Yanma? Yanma. I don't know, but whatever it is, this thing. The dragonfly. Uh, C. Yeah, it's fine. Whooper and Quagsire. Woo! D. For both? No, E for that thing. I think it's fucking the worst. <laughs> That's possibly the worst evolution of Pokemon. <laughs> like, look at that face. Like, what the fuck? Like, what is happening? Now, I always have my Eevee bias. You ready for a hot take? Hmm. The next three are S tier. I yeah. fucking love Honchkrow. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Espeon, great. War- bad shiny. Umbreon, great. Amazing shiny. Yeah. <laughs> Honchkrow, great. Also amazing shiny. Yeah, the pink. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the few where, like, the... Because a lot of the early shinies are just either they turn puke green or, like, pink. Yeah. And a lot of times the pink one doesn't look super good. The green one never looks good. Never. The pink one is rarely looking good, but on Murkrow it works. Yeah. And also, yeah, Honchkrow. Did I say Honchkrow? Yeah. I meant Murkrow. I, love- I mean, I like Honchkrow a lot, too. Yeah. I like them both. Slow King. Oh. and King beats here. If it's a king, yeah. King's Rise. I actually really like. I actually really like Mystery of this. Yeah, I like the design a lot. Yeah, I think it's B tier. I like the the hair flame. Unknown. They are the most generic Pokemon of all time. C tier. Honestly, it's a D. That's fine. <laughs> Just because I don't like how many of them there are. <laughs> Wobbuffet. Honestly, hot take here. Wobbuffet is A tier because of the Pokemon Channel video game for the GameCube. When every time you turn on the TV, he'd just be like, Wobbuffet. I mean, Wobbuffet has always been a meme character. I love Wobbuffet. Girafferig. B. You know what's interesting? Solid design. I'm boring because there's no evolutions. Or I think it's normal type too, right? It's. It might be psychic. Yeah, it might be psychic. You're right. I'm fairly positive in this fact. It either is both of, like, the tail has a head on it, and it's either both heads have a brain, or just the tail has a brain. Mm, interesting. <laughs> and, like, the face is, like, cover, I think. I could be wrong, though. I feel like that was a Pokedex entry. Maybe. What'd you say, B? B tier. It's fine. It's cool. Pinecone Pokemon? Pinecone and Fortress. Uh, honestly? This could be a big disparity. Because pine, pine, Pineco, not great. Fortress, though? I fucked with Fortress. See, I'm the opposite. Really? I think Fortress looks stupid. Fortress is, like, one of... Like, I use it pretty much any time I play Heart Gold or Soul Silver. 
Interesting. What type is it? Water? Bug steel. Ugh. It's a really good typing. S- see, I'm big. Uh, I'm big bug wise. <laughs> and normally I am I too. Even, I don't even know what this one. But I think that that just shows how cool Fortress is because normally I don't like bug types. The highest I'd let it go is B. Yeah, I wasn't gonna fight for like A. And then put the other one in C. What is this thing called? Uh, Dunsparce. Dunsparce. C. It's hella mid. I feel like that's a hot take. Do people like Dunsparce? No, people hate Dunsparce. Mm. It's like Stunfisk. No, Stunfisk is a king. <laughs> I mean... G- Galarin G- Gen 5... Gen, Gen 5 Magikarp right there. Let's fucking go. No, it's not Gen 5 Magikarp because it doesn't evolve. No, but it's derpy like Magikarp. No, yeah, but the point of Magikarp is that it's derpy and then becomes a badass. Yeah. Because it evolves. Becomes a god. Stunfisk say. and Dunsparce are just the Magikarp, but without Gyarados. Yeah. Well, Gligar. Honestly, D. Now, C, we put it in C. I don't like Gligar. I like Gliscor a lot better. Yeah. Steelix. Steelix is cool. Steelix is kind of cool. B tier. I don't know if it's A tier, but... No, it's it's decent, though. It's solid. Now, this may be a hot take. Snubble and Grand. I kind of love Snubble. I think Snubble's A tier. Okay. I, I've always liked Snubble. I, I don't know why. It's just cute. But it's just a little angry, and it's pink. And then Granbull. Granbull kind of sucks, though. Granbull's hella mid. Yeah, C tier. Quillfish. C. Caesar. Caesar. Rad. Kind of, kind of hot. Like, kind of the. Hmm. Honestly, I'd say A. Yeah, I can get behind A. Shuckle. I don't like Shuckle. <laughs> yeah, Shuckle is kind of cute. B tier. I fuck with Heracross. I think. Heracross is cool. Heracross is actually probably my favorite fighting type. What's with you and these bug type Pokemon? Heracross is so sick. I need to convert you to the anti bug alliance of Pokemon. Heracross is so rad. It's just the Gen two bug types. <laughs> I guess yeah. Heracross. Heracross is cool. Yeah, I can I can see an A tier. Yeah. I won't fight for anything more, but in my heart, he's definite S. Easy. Um. Sneasel. Sneasel. B. I like Sneasel. Sneasel's fine. Sneasel's fine. Teddy, Teddy Ursa, Ursa and Ursaring. I like, honestly, Ursaring's B tier. Okay. Good. But honestly, let's put give some love to Teddy Ursa in A tier because it's cute. And I just look, Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa. Just the way it sounds. Like Yeah, in... yeah Teddy Ursa's adorable as fuck. Yeah. Also, I also really like bear Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> We need, what, I think one more bear, and then we can have a full bear Pokemon team? I think so. Now, this could be interesting, because... Slugma and Macargo. This is one of the few Pokemon where my fire bias doesn't get me. <laughs> this is, like, if I would rank all the fire Pokemon, as far as fire Pokemon go, it's pretty mid. Okay. I put them both in C. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of them. I don't really have strong feelings. Whoop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put Ampharos back at the top. It's the best of the Megas, even though this list is... Well, it's not... They're not part of the list. They're just like, why the fuck are they on this list? We're not ordering those ones. Uh, Swinob and Pillow Swine. Honestly, D. I want to do C for Swinob. That's fine. I think it's cute. Mammo Swine is rad. That's their third form. Yeah, Mammo Swine is raw as hell. Corsola. Horse. I actually kind of like it. B. Horsela. Yeah. Remoroid. Remoroid. Remoraid. D. I hate Remoroid. Like, why the fuck are you evolving into an octopus? How does that make sense? Octillery. Where do you put it? I really don't have feelings about Octillery. Uh, just for the, uh, the hentai bias, I'm gonna say C. Okay. I get behind that. Delibird. Delibird's kind of cool, but he gives presents. <laughs> He is kind of Pokemon Santa. Yeah, for that B tier. 
Uh, Mantine. I like Mantine, B tier. Mantine's pretty cool. Scormory. Scarmory. One of the two. I don't really fuck with this one. Really? I kind of fuck with it. Nah, I don't like the Steel Birds. The only Steel Bird I fuck with is Corviknight. I mean, it's kind of like a proto Corviknight. But, like, way worse. Nah, I, I fuck with Scormory. C? Oh, I thought you were going to say B. Well, I assumed you were going low. I mean, you can put it in B if you want. Yeah, I want to put it in B. I fuck with Squarberry. Houndour and Houndoom. Houndour is the first one, right? Yes. B tier. Honestly, Houndoom could be A tier. Houndoom's cool. Houndoom's rad. I've never actually used a Houndoom, which is surprising. I've it's 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 pretty good. It's fire dark, right? Yeah, it's a glass cannon, fire dark. It can, you know, it learns like the elemental fangs, so it has good type coverage and stuff like that. Now, Kingdra is a king, and that belongs. A true king belongs in S tier. King's rise. Kingdra is one of my favorite Pokemon. Period. I'm gonna have to strength this again. Yeah. <laughs> it's all because we have that extra one for the Megas. Yeah. Fanfi and um. Or not Fanfi. Yeah, Fanfi. Yeah, Fanfi and... Don Fan? Doll Fan? Don Fan? Doll Face? I don't know what its name is. I don't know. C I... tier. Put it in C. Both of them? No, the ones whose name you don't know. I think Fanfi's kind of cute, so B tier. Yeah. I always liked this one because in the anime, Ash had one and it would roll around and I thought that was funny. Yeah, like a roly-poly kind of. It was yeah. kind of hard shell. I think it's like an armadillo, kind of. Yeah. Porygon Z. Or is this Porygon S? I think it's Porygon B. I, mean, I would <laughs> never rank Porygon that high. Oh, okay, we can go lower. Porygon C. Yeah. I'm not a big Porygon fan. Speaking of Pokemon I'm not a big fan of, Deerling. That's Stantler. Stantler. <laughs> Same thing. Or wait, is deer. that Stantler? I don't fucking know. Wait, wait. <laughs> is Stantler also part of the Deerling line? I don't remember its name. I think it's Stantler. Yeah, Deerling's... Deerling's Gen 5. Yeah. I just assumed it was Deerling because it was a deer, you know? Well, this is a reindeer. Whatever, it's C-tier. <laughs> It's, it's Arceus form is fucking lit. It's Arceus form is rad, and it was kind of funny that they made a Pokemon that's not really that great into a good... good. Yeah. Smeargle. I kind of like Smeargle. Smeargle, Smeargle. Smeargle is interesting because it can learn any move. Yeah. I like it's an artiste with its tail. Yeah. And that's why it learns anything. It copies. Beats here. Pretty, pretty cool gimmick. Tyrogue. Beats here. It's fine. I like Tyro because it evolves into all the... Speaking of all the things it evolves into... But see, this is my least favorite of the three. Hitmon Top is also the hardest one to get. Yeah. It's bullshit. Your Tyro needs to have equal attack and defense stats. Yeah. Bullshit. B tier. Yeah, it's fine. We got a heavy B. Heavy B. Smoochum? Smoochum is a, an added pre-evolution to who? Uh, Jinx. Okay. Honestly. <laughs> I don't really fuck with it. Yeah, if we put it wherever you want. Oh, damn. Yeah. Now, Elekid and Elekid, I kind of like. Honestly, I would say they're... Yeah, Elekid's A tier. I love Elekid. Magby? Magby is... Fine. Cool. B tier. Yeah. Magby. <laughs> Magby. Now, I... I like Miltank. Yeah, Miltank's A tier. Yeah, Miltank's rad. I like Miltank a lot. I'm also a little biased because uh, someone I know, her like favorite Pokemon is Miltank. I just don't like Moemon Miltank. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want a Moemon Let's Play, <laughs> let us know. And we'll do two episodes and then stop. Yeah. Uh, Blissey. B for Blissey. Yeah. Blissey with the bussy. Blissey with the bussy. Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. Now, this is always interesting because you're a big legendary bird fan. Yes. I'm a big legendary dog fan. Honestly, I think they're all S tier. Yeah. I like them all. They're all rad. 
in their own way. I think Entei's the worst of them, but I think still Entei's pretty I think, great. I would say Raikou's the worst of them. No, I like actually Raikou's my my ex. Raikou's slowly becoming one of my faves. Suicune's obviously my fave, but like, I would say to me Raikou is the least good, but yeah, they're all amazing. Are you looking at Twitter right now? Yeah, I made. Mis- we're in the middle of fucking recording. I know, but we you were you were talking. We were fine. I'm just trying to beat it out of you. No, I Tyranitar is great. Larvitar is decent. Pupitar is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think Larvitar C. The middle one C tier. Yeah, middle one's mid as hell. Is Lavatar S tier or is it A tier? Hmm. The final form we're talking about. Oh, Tyranitar. Yeah, Tyranitar. I would say S. Just because of how fucking cool it is. Uh-huh. I think that's fine. And then Larvitar. B or A? Uh, a. I don't like him as much as, like, Elekid and stuff. Lugia, or as some people used to call it, Luigia. Luigia. I think that's my favorite way to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. I think... Lugia is mid. I I think they're all kind of mid. I like Ho-Oh. I honestly, I would put them all in A tier. I want to put Lugia in B. I put Ho-Oh in A and Celebi in A. I don't think either of them are S tier. No. Definitely not. Now let me see Lugia. <laughs> okay, so you're telling me. No, Lugia has to be A tier. I like everything in A, like, kind of significantly more than Lugia, personally. Yeah, but I like everything in B. I like Lugia more than almost everything in B. Top of B. <laughs> Bottom of A. I mean, ultimately, it's literally the same spot. Yeah. I just don't like to give them that honor of being an A. No, put him in the bottom A. Put respect on some Legends names. To me, he's like a C. I don't like... I don't. I do not fuck with Lugia. I mean, Lugia is like whatever, but like... Amongst like the normal Pokemans, he's... he's... See, but I also never use Legendaries when I play Pokemon. Do people actually use them? Yeah. I thought they were just to look at it. <laughs> A lot of people use them. I never use legendaries, and Lugia I always hate because it's like fucking. It's it lives in the ocean, but it's not a water type. Yeah. It's like the god of the sea or whatever, but it's not a water type, and that pisses me off. He protects the sea, and I think it just looks boring. That's fine. I don't like him, and I know a lot of people like him, so I have that little hipster effect of like, no, he's bad. Yeah. Okay. F tier, perfect. E tier. Perfect. D tier. Honestly, it's fine. Yeah. C tier. Number one. Put the fire bros up top. Which ones? The fire. Oh. Gotta keep my fire bias strong. I like B. I'm gonna put Bayleaf in the middle. Uh, put Gramble and the other one next. The other one. The um the one that's like a armadillo. Oh, yeah. And then a palm. And then the octopus. Then Porygon. And then after that I could give a rat's ass. Yeah, I think the rest of it's fine. Actually move deer make wait, we make let's do this. Who's last? I don't know, Pupitar. Put Stunfisk last. Oh yeah, Stunfisk last. Or Dunsparce. Or what? Same thing. Move the deer <clears throat> up to behind Porygon. Okay, now we're good. I uh, like. Yeah, now we're good. Oh, actually. Now we're good. Okay. B tier. <clears throat> Top of B tier. Hmm. Kalava. Fine. Yeah. Then I would say definitely Totodile. Yeah. Honestly, next, put Mischievous. Yeah. Move up Blissey, too. Blissey's kind of growing on me. 
Also move up. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ne next, Pichu. I want to say then for it. Then do Mar the middle Marie Togekiss, and then um the Muriel. Then Deli Bird. Then Fanfi. See, I, this is weird because I like these all about the same. Yeah, but... I enjoy all these Pokemon. Move Houndour up. Yeah, move Earthstring up, move the Colossal Pokemon up. The Colossal Pokemon? The the Coral Pokemon. Oh, Corsola. Corsola. Okay, I think last is... Slowking. Yeah. And then Tyrogue. And then honestly, my other two would be probably like the two you like, but I'm not going to make you put them there. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. Wait, 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 wait. Magby. Put him above. Put him next to Hound. Behind, though. I just have to keep my fire representation <laughs> strong. <clears throat> a number one A I'll let you have Heracross hell yeah and then Azumaria <laughs> oh Meryl oh yeah Meryl and then Houndoom yes Ooh. then Caesar. Caesar. Then ho ho. Then. I like blossom. Yeah, blossom. Move more blossom. More than Chikorita. Yeah. So. Um. Okay. Put Teddy Ursa second to last, and then. I thought you moved Miltang up. Hmm? I thought you moved Miltang up. I mean, we can. I thought you already did. No. Put, move Miltang up. Right there. Move Fraligator down a little. I think this is... I think this is good. Yeah. S tier, Typhlosion, or Cyndaquil first? Which one of these two? I never remember which one. Honestly, you like more. Ampharos. Ooh. Then Typhlosion. And now, then I would say Kingdra, but that's just me being biased. I'm okay with that. And then I need the 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 Eevees to be high. No, like Cyndaquil can be last. Actually, I want Cyndaquil in front of Tyranitar. Tyranitar's last. Um, I'm okay with this order. Actually, move Entei back one. It's funny, because Entei is very close to being tied with Suicune for me. <laughs> I'd put Umbreon above Espeon. Oh, yeah. Honestly... I would move... At, you. I'd be happy if you moved Espeon back as far back as you feel comfortable. I mean, this is about as far back as I feel comfortable. Okay. I really fuck with all the EV forms. <clears throat> yeah. Like, if I were to do a, a, my own personal tier list of every single Pokemon, every EV form would be, like, very high S tier. Wow. So original. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a problem. Sometimes the people are right. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Also, I already have my hipster moment with Lugia. I don't need another one. Whatever you say. Yeah, I think we got it. Nailed. Down. T photograph. Remember this. The best. Pokemon Gen 2 confirmed. See, I actually like Gen 2 a lot. I think... For I think how high... How many we have in B tier. Like, if you compare B and up to C and down, we have... Like, there's a lot of solid Pokemon. 
I'd say in general, like, B is, like, obviously where it's, like, they're kind of, they're a little bit better than, they're better than mid, but not that much. Yeah, B is, like, like I like them, but not enough to be, like, you're deserving of an award. There's not as many, I, at least for me personally, I don't know. I feel like Gen 2 doesn't have, I mean, I guess we'll see as we continue going, but at least as we stand right now, Gen 2 doesn't have as many that I'm, like, ride or die for. Yeah. I like Gen 2 a lot. I love... It makes sense. Like, three of my all-time favorite Pokemon are, like, the top three. <laughs> <laughs> like, it... Like, not... Like, I still think uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver is Whoa. probably, like, the second best Pokemon game. Yeah. Behind Black and White 1. Yeah. Good shit. Great game. I always, like... Great Pokemon. up with a good team, good Pokemon. Give us another Pokemon game where we can go through two... Sets of gym badges. I want that again. You know? Mm -hmm. I want the massive Pokemon. Scarlet and... <laughs> I want a massive Pokemon game where you can just go to any gym. Legends Arceus, but there's no gyms. Well, like a, like a Legends Arceus type game, but it's just every region... That has gyms. You just go to all. So every region other than Alola. You gotta take a plane. You got yeah. You gotta take. Well, it's like I mean, they already have parts where you like take boats to other islands and shit in the yeah. games. So it's not that weird. No, I'm not saying it's weird. I'm just saying. Like, wouldn't that be sick? But yeah, but like when you fly there, it's like then it, it turns into a flight simulator and you just get to fly. <laughs> or like, well, or no, you can fly a Pokemon. <laughs> it would also be cool if it's like that. You pick which continent you spawn on or which region you spawn in and then like depending on where you go like the gyms will be differently leveled based on how many badges total you have yeah that'd be cool and then that'd they have really like cool. like all of the elite fours with like all of their champions and then the have, final like, area was like new you have like the one true champion of champions yeah cynthia yeah cynthia obviously no and like no but like and then like do you start out in the new area where you get them low-level new Pokemon? I would like where you get to pick where you spawn. No, but you gotta you can't be like, oh, I'm catching new Pokemon all level 70 because I've been in the game for 70 hours. But that's why it's up to you. Not stupid. You gotta pick the new one if that's what you want. But yeah. it's replayability. Because then it's basically every Pokemon game mashed into one. And then they never have to make one again. Yeah, which is anti to their business model, so they would never do this. But I'm just saying it would be sick. It'd be all right. I it would be sick. That'd be cool. That'd be, but it'd be yeah. So tell us what you think of our list. What did we get right? What did we get wrong? What was our hottest take? And why were there megas on this list? Explain it to us. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, comment below, and until next time. Teddy Ursa.